Hey guys, so this is a project I've been working on for about a week now and I want to just present what I've had so far. I've been pretty busy with my school schedule, midterms, um, yeah, although it shouldn't, it's not too much as intense as a sophomore, but it's pretty annoying. But um, I'm going to show you what I have so far. Um, so over here, this is a repository, um, and there's a pretty detailed README. I just want to quickly mention that the README kind of has a lot. I really spent a lot of time documenting the README and the wiki. So the wiki um, has the guide from setting up the Slack, if you want to add the Slack integration, and even if you want to add the Twitter integration. So that's just a quick note. <laughs> uh, so the first step you want to do is one thing I recommend is having git scm if you're on a Windows machine. Um, if you're on Linux or Mac OS, you should have Mac OS developer tools, which you can easily install. Uh, I can't exactly remember what you had to do. I know every time I use a Mac, I ended up installing it the first minute I set up a Mac. So <laughs> it's pretty easy to have Git working. If you have Xcode installed, you should have Git already there. Um, just another quick note, uh, a lot of people that are using uh, my Shopify monitor need to not download it as a, a zip file. Everyone seems to be downloading as a zip. Um, Git clone is the best way to do it. <laughs> So, um, as seen in the instructions, you can git clone, uh, assuming, let's say you're on your desktop, for example. Uh, yeah, you could be on your desktop. And, yeah, uh, when you're on your desktop, uh, we, we can just probably do it here. Uh, you can git clone cd to Shopify monitor. And then, uh, so you can see ls-g over here, readme API to everything. Uh, simply all you have to do is just type in npm install and it installs all the necessary dependencies to have this thing working. Uh, again, um, for the people that are using this, for example, let's say I make a tweet saying, hey, new update out um, that I made. All you have to really do is, rather than downloading a zip and extracting it onto your desktop again, just type in git pull, and that will pull the new changes. Um, so over here, uh, we actually have a config file. So if you can see here, there's a config example.json file. Uh, I'm just simply going to open that up into uh, Atom and show you guys how to run that. All right, oops. So this is some basic stuff. Um, what you do is you can have certain keywords associated with uh, what you want, ultra boost, easy, all sorts of keywords associated with what you're seeking for. But what this can also do is it will detect for uh, new items, restock, sold out items, and removed items from stores. So with this, underneath the sites array, you can add uh, the sitemap products uh, XML file, uh, XML URL. Um, that's applicable. Um, and there's other options. Uh, there's only two. Actually, I could add more. Um, ASSC, Antisocial Social Club. And you can also add palace if you really wanted to. You don't really need those two right now. But here are just two sitemaps. And I can actually provide you guys with a whole list of sitemaps that inside the repository that people might find useful. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to... Yeah. So, yeah, those are just... An example of sites you can add. Uh, if you want to have it tweet out uh, new items, the Twitter feature, which only tweets out new items or restocked items, then over here, um, you just put in your 
Twitter API consumer key secret, access token, and access secret. And then over here, if you want to set up a Slack bot, um, like what I'm about to show, I'll show you what the Slack bot looks like. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just uh, get the uh, bot token, and you can change the image if you want or the username of the bot, and uh, what channel. Uh, so I have a channel called Monitor, and that's where I wanted to go to. Um, no image URL. Um, if there's no image available for a product, then this will be like the image that it's a placeholder image that you can have. That's just an imager link I have up there. And then uh, over here, notify went on keyword matches and all that stuff. All this magic, magical jazz over here is just in one place. Uh, but one important thing. Um, is this interval right here this is in milliseconds um, so be careful uh, with the amount of sites that you have and be cautious knowing your internet speed and your computer and your computer's capacity of how fast it would be able to process things in and out learn and experiment with the interval do not have it interval 300 links in one second because it doesn't work like that um, that being said, I'm going to show you a currently running instance of it. A current running instance of it. So right here, this is an example of a couple of keywords I had and it found all the keywords for me. Alongside it, I actually found a new item and tweeted it out and added it to my Slack. So in Slack, I'm going to show you an example. This is what it looks like when it finds a newly added item. It found it at 441, it's 504 right now. And these were all my keyword matches. And even if I scroll up a little bit, uh, it could even find removed items. So yeah, that's a mouse pad from Kith that they removed from their store. And it also provides you with the stock count of the items. Um, if available, not all brands have available stock counts, um, and also it provides you with the price and the brand and everything basically that one would love to know. Um, is there anything else I need to mention? Uh, there's I've been spending a lot of time buffing out the bugs. Um, it's sort of bugless right now, um, but stay cautious. Um, also, in addition, um, you don't, oh, oh, whoops, wrong thing. Yeah, uh, also in addition, you don't have to uh, have just the sitemap, but I recommend using the sitemap. You can also add sites um, that, you can just add the site name, but not all sites will work uh, because some have blocked the products.json URL so you rather want to go using the site map. Um, yeah, so it's as simple as that. Again, as I said, uh, whenever there's a new update, for example, if I were to say there's a new update, you can always run git pull and it'll, it says already it's already up to date. But yep, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, send me through email, make a GitHub uh, issue or whatever. Thanks.